Hello, everyone. My name is Chisum Onyenazi, and I've got a question for you. What would you do to know more about a culture, whether it's yours or someone else's? See, I grew up as a Nigerian in America, and it was almost impossible to have fun with what I knew as a Nigerian. I would speculate this is a problem for Haitians, Jamaicans, Ghanaians, or Indians in the United States or scattered across the globe. There are inadequate platforms for cultural interaction. It's, it's like losing how to speak a language because there's no other person to speak it with. So I founded Onas, a company that would focus on creating fun cultural play experiences for people all over the world. Our first product is the one taking off right now, and it's the one closest to my heart, Gear Out. Played similar to Taboo, Gear Out gets you to describe a cultural word for your team to guess without using familiar terms. You're taught more about what you already know because you're describing it in a different way and you have so much fun doing it. We launched Gear Out in 2019 with Gear Out Niger, the Nigerian version, and we came out with Gear Out Ghana a few months later. As of this year, we have sold more than 350 units and we are in four physical retail locations in two different countries. We're working on a mobile app that will allow us to incorporate more cultures from different countries across the globe. Further down the road, we will introduce Queendom, a simulation game where players build an African country from scratch using just natural resources. With gross profit margins at 77% per unit, Onas could profit $1.7 million by 2023. This is based on just gear out physical sales promoted by adequate marketing. As of 2019, there were 1.7 million African immigrants in the United States. 3% of this market would be roughly 50, 51,000 people. If we are able to reach less than 3% of our target market, we could profit $1.7 million in one year. With the Gear Out app coming out, our business model will also include revenue from ads, um, event hosting, and in-app purchases. We are currently 80% self-funded. 20% of our income came from a personal loan. So to achieve our goals, we are asking for $450,000 to increase our production capacity, fully develop the apps, engage in digital marketing, and grow our team. Our team, Jane, Arenza, and myself, we are grateful for the opportunity to tell you more about how amazing Gear Out is, and we look forward to your aid in our endeavors. Thank you so much, and do we have any questions? Thank you, Chisholm. Um, I, I love just the name of Queendom, um, by the way. I'm really excited for that one. Um, I can tell there's a lot more sort of that you have in mind and, and you're sort of rolling these products out one by one. Can you talk about the whole scope of your vision? Are you, are you aiming to be like the next Hasbro or is it different? <laughs> Funny you say that because that was one of our our plans in the future was actually to sell to Hasbro, but we realized not, but we're, we're not necessarily there yet. We're growing it. Um, eventually, if Hasbro or any other company can take us to where we want to go faster than we can, then selling to Hasbro would be a thing. However, if we garner enough, um, if we get enough marketing, if we are able to get enough people, then we could take this off ourselves. We want to make sure that no matter where someone goes, whether you're a Haitian in Germany or you're a Nigerian in the U US, you could still engage in your culture. So that's what we're trying to do. Have fun with what you know. And if we could push that off ourselves, definitely that would be the, the goal. But if a bigger company is able to help our vision grow faster than we could, then we'll definitely sell. You, you kind of just uh, touched on it in your answer previously, and I was just thinking about immigrants from other countries, uh, you know, from, from, from Haiti, from other South American countries that might be in Europe or elsewhere. Um, so what's your long, you know, my thought was, what's your long-term plan uh, on reaching out and expanding to those, uh, to folks elsewhere? So pretty much what we did with the Ghana version. So I'm Nigerian and there are different countries that are, definitely different. Even in Nigeria, you have a lot of tribes that are different. So what we did with Ghana was when we traveled to Ghana, we got a couple of people there to build our content. So we added them to our team and said, hey, look, we want to create a game with words that are familiar, that you're familiar with. And here's a concept. We gave them a taboo concept. They had never heard of taboo. So it was fun for them. Spent six months getting all the words done, creating the cards. And that's what we plan to do for each country, not for us to learn, necessarily each country or each culture, but for them to feel more important about what they know and to say, 
this is your content, create it, let people have fun with it. And that's how we would do with every other country. And that's why we need to grow our team. So that's not just myself or Jane and Lorenzo going to 50 different countries. It's going to be fun, but it'll be tedious. So we need to grow our team to do that. Awesome. Now, let me ask a question. Um, with your product, um, how many sales do you have currently with your product? Or are you currently in the development stage? I would answer that question threefold because we have three different products right now. So with Gear Out, we have more than, as of now, we have around 375 sales. 350 was as of September, and we're still getting sales um, every day for Gear Out. That's for Gear Out Ghana and Gear Out Niger. Um, for the mobile app, that's still in developing. We have a group of people that are developing the app. It should be out by December of this year. That's our goal. Um, Queendom is also being developed. That one should be out against next March. And we are still getting different countries for the Gear Out version. Um, we're currently creating the Gear Out Kenya and the Gear Out South Africa. So that should be out against January of 2021 as well. Okay, thank you. Vote for your favorite pitch by visiting www.sheraise.com. Select a city, enter the donation for the pitches you love, and don't forget to leave feedback and or hype comments for our founders.